in today's videos guys, we'll see how to recreate the rumble bass like the one used by Skrillex and Fred again in their collaboration Rumble. Their song contains a very particular bass that is rich in low frequencies and is extremely rhythmic. We have prepared a small song where we have recreated the typical gated bassline effect. Let's have a listen. Now let's see how we recreated the wobble bass using Polygrid and Beatwig. For this kind of sound we use two sine waves. The first one generates the sound while the second one is used to control the modulation frequencies of the first. From the first oscillator we go into the ADSR envelope that shapes the sound. The second envelope in this case is used to control the amount of effect on the modulation frequency. From the fourth envelope we go into the mixer and finally into the master output. Let's listen to the result. To create the rumble bass, we use a sine wave and a wide noise. The generated sound passes through the ADSR envelope, which is controlled by two gauge modules. From the envelopes, we enter into various filters that better control the tone of the sounds. And finally, the sounds enter into the mixer and into the final output. Let's listen to the result. As you can listen, thanks to the ADSR, we recreated the typical gated effect that Skrillex and Fred again used in their song Rumble. As always guys, we suggest you using these sound design techniques to experiment and create your own customized sounds. Remember also to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.